Mental wellness has probably been one of the biggest pandemics over the last two years. And for the last year, I've been spending probably four or five hundred hours on a mental wellness virtual stage, working alongside some clinical psychologists, psychiatrists, neuroscientists, and then mindset coaches. And we've had a massive amount of people come through the room and the stage who've had problems with stress, anxiety, depression, and even suicide. And last week we had a beautiful soul come on the stage, a lady from the Maldives. And she's had a horrific journey in her life. In terms of 13 years of age, she'd been raped and uh, it was quite horrific. And then at 19 years of age, she had uh, been put into an arranged marriage where her husband had locked her away in a basement for three years. And she just basically escaped. And then two years on, she was still suffering from post-traumatic stress, stress disorder. And she came on stage and she said that she'd been in bed for three days, two days without any food, and one day with no water. And we were really worried. We didn't know what to do. And I just went into my heart space and asked myself, how can I help this lady in the best possible way right now? Because she was in need now, not tomorrow, now. And I realized the first thing is that she hadn't drunk water in 24 hours. So if I could just get her to drink some water, that would be a great start. But she wasn't in the state to be able to just do that. So I thought of something fun. So I said to her, I said to her, let's just call her Daisy. It's not her name. I said, Daisy, will you play a game with me? And if you win the game, which I guarantee you will, because it's a very easy game, if you play the game with me, I will give you a prize that's worth $500. And she said, what's the prize? I said, it's a free consultation with me, and I promise you I'll give you my undivided attention and help you as much as possible. And she agreed, because she really wanted help. And at that point, I said, okay, what I'd love you to do is I'd love you to get some water, and I'd love you to gargle as loud as you possibly can on this stage, which is an audio stage, in front of these 50 people to make us laugh and make yourself laugh too. And she agreed. So she got out of bed, she got a glass of water and she was about to put it to her mouth. And I said, let's just test the mic first. Can you do firstly a big gulp so we can all hear it? So she, mm, big gulp. I said, fantastic. Right, next, let's have that first gargle. So she put the, the water in the mouth and she got, and I said, come on girl, you can do better than that. Give us a good gargle, come on. And she really went for it with a louder gargle. And then she started laughing, like literally started laughing. It completely changed her state. And after six gulps, six big gargles, and a lot of laughter and fun, she completely changed her state. And I said to her, I said, just one more task. It's a really easy task to do. And you won the consultation. And she said, anything, what is it? She completely changed. And I said, I want you to go into the kitchen. And have you got any bread in the kitchen? She said, yes. I said, will you go in there and take out a slice of bread and look at it? So she went in and took a slice of bread out and she had a look at it. I said, I want you to look at that bread in appreciation because that bread was once a seed and that seed was sowed to produce then the wheat, which was then put into flour, which was then manufactured into that piece of bread to help in terms of nutrition for your body. And I want you to look at that bread in a state of gratitude and appreciation. And then I want you to take one bite and I want you to feel it in your mouth in a state of appreciation. I want you to listen to it in your mouth with a state of appreciation. And I want you to taste it in your mouth with a state of appreciation. And she did it. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted her to be grateful for something as simple as a piece of bread. So that when she can truly be grateful for something as simple as that, she can open herself up more to receive more because of the gratitude that she has for the simplest of things. And the reason I got her to gargle wasn't to become the clubhouse champion of gargling. It was truly to change her state and make her smile. And we did the consultation then last Friday and it went really well. There was tears and then there was laughter and then there was joy and then she was glowing. And she's such a fantastic soul. She's like an earth angel. And her story of where she was and where she's going to go I think it's going to change lives. So next time you're in a situation where you don't know the answer, go into your heart space, close your eyes and ask, how can I help this person? Or if it's for yourself, how can I help me? And just feel your heart, feel the energy and see what comes to mind.